We'd like to welcome you to BeMoreNews.com, the news before the news, where we uncover the truth here on April 22nd. That's correct. 2011. Brother Darren Muhammad, WFBR host, State of the City. Felicia Bonds, pressing news. Yes, sir. Well, you know, today many people go to church and celebrate and talk about the last seven words of Jesus Christ. But today in Baltimore City, we got to ask, what's the last seven words of Sister Felicia Barnes, whose body was discovered uh, in the Susquehanna River, which, of course, is in uh, between Cecil County and Hartford County, right in the backyard of Commissioner Bielfeld. And it is my belief and feeling that the Baltimore City Police Department, again, dropped the ball on this one. Why, why do you say dropped the ball? They failed to release a Amber Alert when she first was reported missing, uh, and, of course, failed to galvanize the necessary task force to do a search 100 miles north, 100 miles east, 100 miles south, 100 miles uh, to the west so that we can look at where this young lady may have been uh, taken. And so therefore they dropped the ball, lost vital time, and really we saw a lukewarm search uh, only in two areas, Lincoln Park and the Patapsco River. So with the second body being found, what do you sense uh, that adds to the equation? It definitely adds to the equation. They found a, 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 another a black man, uh, I believe 6'4", 220 pounds, or 240 pounds. So, you know, you have to ask the question, uh, could it take one individual uh, to uh, be able to dump the body of this healthy young man and this healthy young lady into the Susquehanna River? So there's a lot more questions now that we have. And I just haven't seen, again, the um, sympathy and empathy from the Baltimore City Police Department, particularly the commissioner, that was extended to the family of the John Hopkins researcher, Stephen Pecan, to say, we apologize that we failed to protect your child. Last week, Brother Darren, your radio show broke the news about the investigation being launched into the Baltimore branch of the NAACP. Have you heard any word from anyone associated with the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People in Baltimore? Not one word. Uh, it's been very silent from the former president, Marvin Doc Cheatham, to the current president, uh, Ms. Tessa Hill Ashton. And so, you know, there currently is a 17 count investigation that's been launched against uh, that former administration and the six officers that were held uh, by those six individuals. Uh, and ranging from, from what some would call minuscule to some very serious uh, allegations and perhaps some, some uh, crimes uh, that may have been investigated by the Baltimore City Police Department or the state of Maryland. Would this explain why we have not heard anything? Well, well, let me back up. Have you heard anything from the Baltimore NAACP this year? Not at all. Not one phone call, uh, not one uh, public uh, uh, debate or a public rally in regards to the crimes that's going on still in the city of Baltimore. And uh, let's highlight the issues uh, thus far in 2011 as relates to the city of Baltimore and a, uh, a city that's majority black. Well, you have this, still the uh, ongoing cover-up of the death of Officer Will Torbett, who was the nine-year veteran in Baltimore City Police Department, shot 21 or 23 times outside the Select Club Lounge. You still have this ongoing case of the mayor and her administration failing to pay the judgments that the city and courts, of course, uh, found them guilty of of lead paint poisoning and the Baltimore Housing Authority, which the president, current president of the NAACP, Ms. Tessa Hill Ashton, works for the Baltimore City Housing Authority, which clearly would be a conflict of interest for the NAACP, who is supposed to protect the rights of children and civil rights of adults in the city, uh, cannot take that kind of stand because of such conflicts of interest. And then so many other stories right now with this ongoing corruption of the Baltimore City Police Department, kidnapping a young man, taking him out to Howard County, and now uh, that trial is in court. So there's so many things that have been going on in the city as far as crimes and violations of citizens' rights by the Baltimore City Police Department and Baltimore City uh, Mayor's Office and her administration has so, not been addressed by the Baltimore, Ca Baltimore chapter of the NAACP. So what does that mean for the people? Well, it means that the people really uh, don't have a clear choice and a clear voice of organizations that historically have said that they're the baddest, the oldest, the bravest, the boldest, the often fuss, disgust, and everything else. With all of those, those, those uh, adjectives, when, when the people need them the most, you can't find them. Good deal. And, and so, you know, it becomes a reality for many of the citizens in Baltimore. And at the same, same time, it becomes a sad reality that uh, they cannot properly advocate for the citizens traditionally that they've advocated for. Good deal. Thank you for your time, sir. Thank you. BeMoreNews.com. All the news before the news. Stop on down to Terror Cafe, located 25th in St. Paul. Tell them Brother Muhammad sent you. Peace, Baltimore.